the best advice that I've ever gotten is get comfortable being uncomfortable. And it's a piece of advice that I pass on nearly every day. I have to re-advise myself about that. And I share it very broadly with everyone that I talk to. Um, I've also heard associated with that piece of advice, it's not about getting outside your comfort zone, it's about expanding your comfort zone. So when we put ourselves in situations and conditions that we may feel uncomfortable with, frankly may feel less equipped to do or to do well than things that we know better how to do, wow, do we expand our comfort zone? Do we experience something that, that it sometimes is mind-blowing, recognizing that, wow, I, I can step into a situation that's a little less comfortable, I can succeed with it in that moment, but I can also learn something that I can apply to the next moment that I'm in a situation that, that feels less than familiar. My advice for women in any workplace, and certainly one that has right now more men than women in it, is be yourself. We are in a moment of incredible focus and conversation about creating places where all of us, more of us, can bring our perspective, bring our skills, bring our gifts, bring our experience, and where we're holding ourselves accountable, our male colleagues, at least as much as our female colleagues, to learning, to learning about our own internal bias, to learning about how to be um, empathetic and aware and open of other people's experiences, because what we know is that any business that hopes to thrive, that hopes to bring great talent, that hopes to speak to a broader group of consumers, of clients, we've got to bring all of that perspective to the table. I love the fact that this conversation right now is so vibrant because I, get, I think it gives all of us the opportunity to be more like ourselves when we come into our workplaces every day.